Hi, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. I'm Matt, and we are in North Nicosia, Cyprus. On this edition, we're going to take a look at both sides of the United Nations Green Line and see the differences between North Nicosia and South Nicosia. Ready for this edition? Some of the famed Blue Berets of the United Nations peacekeeping forces. Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus, is the last divided city in Europe. This is the southern side of Nicosia, the Greek side, leading up to the Ledger Street pedestrian foot crossing only to the Turkish side. The Ledger Street crossing opened in only 2008. The rules of this video today have been I cannot shoot the police station or any of the checkpoint guards. However, anything else, I've been given fair game. Here's an example of one of the checkpoints of the United Nations Green Zone, the buffer separating Cyprus from North Cyprus and specifically here in Nicosia between the Southern Nicosians, the Greeks, and the Northern Nicosians of the Turkish background. That there is no sign saying no photography or no video, I'll take this as an open invitation. One of the reasons it is called a green line, that is the United Nations buffer zone between Cyprus and North Cyprus, is that the green represents growth, plants, trees, life. Mm, you can make your judgment for yourself. Meanwhile, I'll swing the camera just to the right, and if we're lucky, we'll be able to see some soldiers in the North Cyprus military base. I'll forgive the spelling, the message still comes across strong. On the Greek side of Nicosia, there is no shortage of graffiti or political statements. Interesting, however, that on the Turkish side of Nicosia, how the buildings have remained clean. Perhaps the Turkish anarchists have nothing to say. This cute little car is called a Morris Minor. Morris because that's the company name, Minor because, well, I guess the vehicle is small. The white building in the background is, or I'll assume was, a United Nations administrative building located in the green zone separating North and South Nicosia. One of the cobblestone streets in Southern Nicosia that is adjacent to the United Nations Green Zone. I wonder what issues this property owner has when his house is adjacent to the Green Zone. I couldn't help but notice that this sign is in English, French, and German, however not Greek or Turkish. And once again, the local anarchists have struck However, I can't necessarily disagree with them that if there was no border here, that it might be an improvement on the landscape. Here would be a tame example of the scarred landscape that still remains 40 years after the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. This is a backyard of several of the homes on a street adjacent to the Green Zone. Now that we've seen the Greek side of Nicosia, it's time to cross the border and visit the Turkish side. I've been told that the procedure is quite simple. Thanks. Here we go. Okay. Sounds good? Thank you. <laughs> that was simple. Thank you. Wow. 
Wow, that, that was simple. They didn't even take a look at the passport. Terrific, all borders should be that easy. This is the 50 meter buffer zone between South Cyprus and North Cyprus. It appears the anarchists of Cyprus themselves know no boundaries. Literally the last few steps of the United Nations buffer zone and just about to enter North Cyprus, the Turkish part of the island. Thank you. And this is the north side of Nicosia in northern Cyprus, otherwise known as the Turkish Republic of North Cyprus. The border control, passport control between the two nations was in fact quite simple. Part of the outdoor market in northern Nicosia. Gule gule. At the heart of the old walled city in northern Nicosia is Salomye Mosque. It used to be known as St. Sophia Church. Well, if on the south side of Nicosia we saw Morris Minor, here in North Nicosia are a pair of minis. I think the Morris Minor was in better condition. This is one of the uh, side alleys in North Nicosia, similar to that which we visited in South Nicosia. The difference here, no cobblestone roads, and the houses have maintained, well, a bit of a rustic charm. Hello there! And rustic charm, perhaps being a polite real estate euphemism for unrepaired, unkempt, rundown. One of the reasons that there's an economic discrepancy between North Nicosia and South Nicosia is that while North Cyprus is recognized as a country by Turkey, Turkey is the only one in the entire world that recognizes North Cyprus as an independent nation. Meanwhile, North Cyprus is actually run more as an administrative province of Turkey than it is as an independent nation. While Cyprus, South Cyprus, but Cyprus, is part of the Eurozone. And with it comes the influx of billions of dollars. It may seem that I could cherry pick for visual stimulation, but this neighborhood is the exact parallel to where I was only an hour ago on the Greek side. Salute! This is the historic and famed Buyak Khan Arts and Cultural Center of North Nicosia. And it is from here where we will sign off regarding this edition as we looked at both sides of the green line of the divided capital of Nicosia, Cyprus. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Borders on Budgets. Long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode. back up see if there's any photos here no it says no photographing I'll edit that out in post-production <laughs>